Good morning, YouTubers. You have reached the Brian Sledge channel. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Uh, thank you very much, and have a great day. Bye. The story exploded after the stranger posted this photo on its website, showing an assault weapon on the back of a Seattle police cruiser with no one around. It was taken by someone just passing by. That looks bad, and the department's not going to like seeing that, I'm sure. Perhaps the understatement of the day as the department said there is simply no excuse for the weapon to have been left unattended on the car. Look, it's, this is a rifle left on the back of a trunk. It's a careless act. We're very embarrassed. People should expect more. As for just how the rifle came to be left on the car, police just aren't saying. It's a very fair question. It's something that we're uh, identifying now. I'm just not at liberty to tell you what I know. But King 5 News has learned from sources what likely happened. One officer was loading or unloading the car in a secured area of the West Precinct, placed the rifle on the trunk of a squad car next to it, and walked away. A second officer got in that car and drove to the Roosevelt Hotel. She parked the car, still unaware the rifle was on top of the truck. Witnesses saw her at the nearby Starbucks. The man who took the picture flagged down a pair of nearby bike officers who secured the weapon. Is it appropriate for it to be left alone and unattended? Absolutely not. Not even not even in a police facility. You have a firearm, you know how to handle it. Yeah. When you see that, what it, what comes to your mind? Like, worse than reckless. I mean, what, what if a kid would have walked up to that? Kid could have shot himself. 